Hey there, Mark Nickel here. Um, I learned this uh, very fascinating little quote over the weekend. The quote read, Man becomes what he thinks. Um, I just thought it was really, really epic. And, and this morning it seemed really, really um, kind of poignant. I opened my Facebook account and a friend of mine, her comment read, um, Ellie is feeling sad. Okay, never nice to see your friends write such things. So, uh, flicking through the comments and things to try and find out maybe why she was feeling sad. Um, and it was all to do with the stuff that has happened and that is happening in Japan. Um, you know, she was kind of feeling a bit down and sort of sad because the stuff that's happened kind of made her feel really insignificant and kind of really highlighted how small we are by comparison to the powers of nature and so on. Um, and of course she was feeling uh, sad and down because so many people have gone through so much pain and devastation and, and lost loved ones and so on. Now, don't think me a heartless bastard because I'm, I'm really, really not. I think it's it's really important that humans have compassion with other humans. But I also think there's huge power in understanding that feeling sad and sorry for people does nothing to help them or help you or help the world around you. By focusing on the negative that had come out of the stories and focusing on, on, on the pain and the devastation, that energy had already affected my friend Ellie's life. And she was then already putting out more negative energy associated with how she had then been feeling. Rather than do the same, I've actually tried to sort of ignore the news. Now, not to just sort of bury my head in the sand and pretend that stuff doesn't happen, but... I try really hard not to let such negative things come into my life because I don't want that negative energy to then run and to sort of spread and expand through the people that I come into contact with. So kind of what I figured was, you know, whilst it's great to have compassion, try not to dwell on stuff. My, my personal attitude has been a, pretty much a prayer a day for the people and stuff that's going on in Japan because, man, you, you wouldn't wish it on anybody. But rather than feeling sad and sorry, I've tried to focus on some of what have been amazing stories coming out of exactly the same situation. People being dug out from under buildings after days. I think there was a story of a guy who'd been found out at sea, like 10 miles out at sea, floating on a bit of driftwood. So guys, you know, there's, there's devastation and there's sadness and there's darkness all the time out there. But it's really about perspective and you can find good and you can find light in the most difficult and darkest of situations. And so again, just to emphasize what you think about, you become. If you think about down, dark, negative, doom, gloom, that's how you're going to feel. And that is what you'll project and that is then the cycle that then continues around and effectively goes around the world. I found this week as well that it kind of applies to some of my training clients. I've heard people say, um, oh, I can't stick to the nutrition plan 100% because I need chocolate every now and then. I'm a woman after all. Quite frankly, that sucks. If that's how you think, then that is how you'll be. You won't stick to nutrition plans. You're not going to stick to exercise regimes because you don't think in the way that's necessary for you to be successful. Again, you th what you think, you become. If you think you need to survive on chocolate, then you're going to survive on chocolate. I think, and it's a really deep-seated, heartfelt belief, I think that as a human race, as individuals, as a collective, we have massive power to influence the world and the environment in which we live. You all know how people around you can affect you and how you feel, and you know how you can affect uh, the people around you. So I'm making it a personal mission this week to think positive, happy, constructive, energizing thoughts because that's the type of life, that's the type of environment and that's the type of world that I want to live in. So I'm going to go out of my way this week to love people, to focus on serving people and how I can make the world in which I live a better place rather than thinking about the world that I live in being such a bad place. Because again, I genuinely think, I genuinely believe this, guys, and I want you to get on board because we can do this, is that we can change the world in which we live. But it starts right here with you, with number one. Okay, guys, have an awesome, awesome day. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.